My name is Darren Pearson. I go by Darius Twin Online. I'm 34 years old. I'm from Pine Mountain Club, California. I just moved here recently this year. Uh, it's about an hour north of Los Angeles. I'm married to Jordan Rose as of two months ago. <laughs> I used to work as a, an illustrator for many years and that's I take this illustration style to light painting and that's kind of why I do what I do. Light painting is part of my work, but another part of my work is making this light tool called uh, Night Writer, and I ship these products out for my website. The reason I light paint is because I enjoy it. Um, I do it whenever I travel. For me, it's an artistic challenge as well as a technological challenge. And the way I got into it was because I was looking at a coffee table book and I saw an image of Picasso illustrating with light and this gave me the idea to start illustrating with light as if the world was a sketchbook and I could just create my own characters within it. So that's what I do and that's why I like doing it. With my style of illustration a lot of the times I will do research on what a location looks like and maybe sketches on what I think I should be drawing at it. Oftentimes I go to the location and I have to adapt my drawings to match the environments for which I'm working in. So it's a little bit of both. Sometimes I will bring my own idea and do it. Other times I will get to a location to decide another idea would work best. The dinosaur drawings that I do, I draw them freehand and the way that I do it is oftentimes I'll sketch on like a notebook or something beforehand and if I think I have it just right, I'll take a photo of it on my phone. Oftentimes I'll reference it at the location and then um, try to do it large scale by using different objects within the environment. Sometimes I work alone, other times I'll bring my wife Jordan with me and uh, usually we'll start by taking photographs at sunset and then during blue hour we transition into me taking light art photographs. So that's the way it usually works. If she's bored or something, sometimes she'll go to the car and like turn the heater on or turn the radio on or whatever it is. But that's, that's how it usually is. It's me and my wife. I get my inspiration from all sorts of things, whether it's a movie I just watched or the current political state, holiday seasons, or a background in skateboarding, whatever it is, it's usually something that I apply towards a location. Oftentimes the history of a location comes into play, so I like to keep my options open. Three of my favorite artists and what I like about their work. I love Picasso. I think his work is very um, expressive and I feel like it nails human activities, horrors, emotions, passion. And then like a light painting artist, like if we're talking light painting artists, I would say that Eric Paré's work is wonderful. I think some of the things that he's doing with 360 degree motion and light painting as well as with Kim Henry and her dance poses. He's also teaching people which is something I like about what he does and he has uh, people that learn all about light painting just through his photography and his um, techniques. One other person that I think is uh, doing great work is Palatep of course in Belgium. His uh, his color use is fantastic, as well as his models and some of his humor uh, is great as well. So I, I really appreciate, you know, Picasso, Eric Paré, uh, Palatet are great examples. One other honorable mention is uh, Dennis in Australia. I just think his attitude is fantastic and his story is great and the way that he, um, that he teaches others about light painting as an art form is fantastic. I think a recent favorite art 
was the brontosaurus in front of the keystone rock in big sur and this is a location that i i always really liked going to and there was a big mudslide and it destroyed a bridge to location so it was closed off for about a year now and it's still not open last i heard so this is a location that's special to me it's where jordan and i got married as well So I have many dream locations to go to. Uh, Angkor Wat in Cambodia is high on the list. Um, the Atacama Desert in Chile would be great. There are several U.S. locations I've never been to that I would like to go as well. Maybe Grand Staircase, Escalon. Uh, th there are many different places I have not been to and would like to go to. But those are a few of my favorite. Oh, Bolivia, Salt Flats. So I have many experiences that I'll never forget light painting, but one of the times that I was light painting under a full moon and then a bear started following me when I packed up my gear, that was probably one of the most memorable recent experiences. I've never had an experience quite like that. Uh, I was walking under the full moonlight and I saw this bear come out of the shadows. He was off in the distance and I thought maybe it was a deer, but it wasn't a deer, and it followed me. Yeah, I was pretty relieved when it decided to divert paths after about 50 yards. I do a little bit of post-processing to my images. I shoot them all on RAW, so when I import them, I use Lightroom in order to bring up the shadows and then tone down some of the highlights. I do this in order to pull more information out of the image. Otherwise you have dark spots within your image. My opinion on a lot of post-processing and no post-processing at all is that to each his own, you can do both well, but for me in particular, I like shooting on raw and I think there's more information you can derive out of an image if you post-process it a little bit. Not add anything into it, but bring out what you have already. So the gear I use is I use a Canon 6D. I usually use a couple different lenses. There's a wide 14 millimeter and a 24 to 70. So I have all the angles covered for the most part. I also use my Knight Rider light pen for all the illustrations that I do and any other lights I have on standby. So the most recent work that I have going on is uh, my film called Kill the Lights. It's an animated film that I've worked a couple years on. Every time we would travel, I would create a sequence for this film. So um, yeah, that's the most recent big project that I've had. The project that I'm working on right now is a new version of the Knight Rider light pen. It's one where, um, where I have like a revolving color tip. And there's going to be these different cartridges that go in it, so I can kind of show you what it does. But it's a, just an easier way to change color of the light. And then I'll start doing projects with this design and alterations of it. In addition to that, I have these uh, color tips. So I have different pyramid color tips that I like to use now, and they fit on different versions of the pen. So you have different angles for which you can light paint with. I see light painting being used in more commercial mediums. I see it being used in AR and virtual reality stuff. I see it in video games eventually. More electronics, more light painting. So I've done work for Apple uh, using their iPhone as a camera and their watch as a remote trigger to do different light paintings for them. They ended up using them in their stores on different display ads and stuff. And then another project I've done is for Honda. And what I did for Honda was I animated a little sequence using their Honda Civic. And, uh, and I had a light skeleton just kind of hop over the dashboard and then slide in and drive off in it. So that was used on a, na a national 
commercial for them. For Brisk Iced Tea, I collaborated with another director by the name of Nieto, and what he does is different transitional art. So, uh, so he'll do a lot of drone footage flying into a place, animated with something, and then there's a basketball player, and he has multiple arms, and these arms I created by drawing them in with my Knight Rider, and then there would be a BMX guy, and I'd draw something for him as well. So this, this was another um, digital commercial. I grew my following on Instagram just by putting out high quality and like creative content on a regular basis. I think it's important to have a consistency with your art. So everything should be well composed. Uh, certain colors should be used more than others. Just taking a look at your feed online and making decisions to improve it on a regular basis. That helps. And then also getting featured by different accounts helps as well. My favorite social media to use is Instagram on the f only basis that it is a visual platform and it works pretty well for seeing other people around the world. What I don't like about it <laughs> is, uh, is this new algorithm that messes up the orders and uh, puts po sponsored posts above other content. 